It's been three days, but this is unbelievable. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Doak and I feel kinda, kinda fresh, kinda new. Why? This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Maybe you remember what happened almost exactly one year ago. At the end of 2018, I burned out and I was kind of messy. So during Christmas, I tried to reset myself. I also tried to get rid of stupid goals such as reaching 1 million subscribers. And in February 2019, I started a new project on this channel with a name Art Story. The main point or the goal of this project was to become a pro artist, a master of my craft. It felt like the right goal, like the right way to go. I, I had this mindset that I won't care about numbers views on my videos and I'll just draw and draw and draw and draw and paint and paint and paint and get better better and better and most importantly that I won't burn out again it really felt like yeah this is what I have to do but then for some reason I, I say that I want to deliver you free videos per week I don't want to promise that that free videos are the goal it is possible it's definitely possible to make free videos per week but it's it's a way straight to hell Fortunately, I quickly understood that two videos per week will be enough. For some time I've been doing free, but it was kind of overwhelming, you know. <laughs> Frankly, it would be the best for my art progression if I don't record any YouTube videos and I just practice, but as a full-time YouTube artist who makes a living out of YouTube, I can't really afford to do that. The first few months of the art story of my journey to being pro felt kind of bad. I didn't see any real progression and I felt kind of like meh. You know, if you want to get better, you need to practice or at least prepare every single artwork properly. And that requires time. And I couldn't always find this time. So sometimes I just said, fuck it, I'll freestyle the artwork. That might be cool from time to time, but it's definitely not a way how to get better. Fortunately, I started to realize this and I tried to dedicate more of my time to preparation of my paintings. The thing that helped me the most with this problem was the start of the I Try series. You know, if you paint something for the first time ever in your life, you have never tried it before, you simply can't go around the preparation, as long as you actually care about the final result. Since then things got better. Uh, the iTry series, the views of the iTry series were booming. Other videos were doing great as well. And most importantly, I started to feel good about my artistic progress. Finally, I finally started to have a feeling that I'm not limited to paint just letters only. Characters, all kinds of effects, landscapes, 
I've been doing it all. Maybe not perfectly, but much better than before. Slowly, we are getting to the same part of the year when I burned out in 2018, and I'm glad that it didn't happen again. I finished the year in a good mindset, and if I look at it all right now, if I look at my art progress, the community of this channel, and also, well, also the views in 2019, I can proudly say that this is my biggest artistic success yet. The year 2019. I wanted to get of my leather comfort zone for years. I started to practice different stuff so many times, but eventually I always quit. But not in 2018. In 2018, I made the unbelievable, believable, unbelievable, believable. Yeah. My English got better too, I guess. And if you are wondering what am I actually drawing today, well, I'm drawing an artwork that represents the success, the one year of the art store. Before I tell you what's next, let me tell you about the three things that I've learned in 2019. The first one, don't have stupid goals. We all heard this like, don't aim for money, uh, don't aim for success. We basically all know that it's true, but bear in mind that it's not so easy to set appropriate goals, like a correct goals. Number two, take your Time. I realized this in two situations. First of all, while I was drawing, I messed a ton of artworks just because of I rushed them. I was not patient enough. You know, if you want to make something good, you need to take your time. Especially in the early stages of every single project you do, take your time. And the second situation when I realized this is basically a workflow in general, because I used to plan like ton of stuff into one week or even into one day. And then I was depressed that I couldn't make it. And even if I managed to do it all in such a short time, I didn't do it properly. So take your damn time. And finally, number three, don't think that everything will be fun. You know, we heard it all from millionaires and rappers and whatever. We heard something like, if you do what you really love to do, you won't work a day in your life. Bullshit! It sounds like when you do what you like to do, you are suddenly in a paradise and everything is perfect. It's not. It will never be, but that's a part of it and it's completely okay. Actually, it's not okay if you think that it's okay that... You got me there, right? So even though you do something what you love 100%, sometimes you're gonna feel like shit and it's completely okay. You know, when I finished university, I thought that everything will be suddenly perfect, that I will have a ton of time and everything will be like uh, flowers and sun and... No. And right now it's time to say what's next. During the last few years, I always announced some big new stuff that's coming, but nah. 
That's not what we're gonna do right now. After 81 art story videos in 2019, you can expect art story season two. My goal was to become a pro artist the last year. I've made a significant progression, but it's not over. So get ready to see me suffering, complaining, but also fighting and hopefully eventually at the end of the every single artwork, smiling as well. God bless America. Because this is the art story. Every single artwork is a little piece of the story to become a pro artist. And stories are here to be shared so... Brace yourself for 2020 and this is it. And before you go, let me tell you about somebody who makes creating of these videos much easier for me and can make also your life easier as well. Squarespace is a company that sponsored my videos and it is also a company that can help you with your online presentation. You might be an artist, video maker, illustrator or writer or whatever. If you need a website or an e-shop, Squarespace can definitely help you with that. You can create a beautiful gallery with your work, you can send it to your clients and when you upload your work to your gallery, you don't need to care about matching all the pictures together, Squarespace will do it for you. You also don't need to care about synchronizing your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, your social media with your website, it will do it for you. If you have a problem or you don't understand something, they have a 24-7 email service, we can just write them. So yeah, if you need help with your online presentation, check out squarespace.com. Try a free trial and if you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash doktv where you will get 10% off your first purchase. All right, thanks to Squarespace and see ya.